Claudio, I'm speaking about you. The most important person would have to be my mother. Can be quite energetic at times. One of the biggest problems that the construction industry has today. I think I'm the type of person that can be quite energetic at times, can also be very adventurous, but at the same time can have an interesting and deep conversation wherever, whenever. So if I had to take a few steps back, what initially got me into property letting would have to be my father, because he's always been in the construction industry. And uh, I remember walking through these skeletal-like structures and imagining, imagining them how they could be transformed into someone's home. So architecture and the property market obviously go hand in hand. But if I had to think about the most difficult part of both, it would definitely be the constant rejection I'm faced with both. Whereas from one aspect, it's design related. So constantly having your ideas, notions and concepts questioned. Whereas from the other aspect, it's trying to fulfill the best service you can while simultaneously being rejected. So where can I even start? I think that my love for sports doesn't just influence my work, but it influences every single aspect of my life from my relationships to how I present myself and to also how I split my time up. And if I had to pick my finger, put my finger on certain points, I would say that certain character traits that I extract from sports and directly implement into my work would have to be consistency, discipline definitely, and most of all goal setting. I think this question can be summed up into one word, which is priorities. So having your priorities is very important. And in order to set your priorities, you have to know what you love and what you prioritize most. And once you set them, I think that having the ability to knowing what you're able to sacrifice in order to pursue them is very essential and very important. I would say that one of the best things about my job is definitely the flexibility. But if I had to choose something else, it's that one-to-one -one interaction that you get to build a relationship with clients over a small period of time. And you get to meet them in a vulnerable stage or a stressful stage in their life. Because let's face it, moving country or moving home can be quite stressful. And building that relationship over a short period of time can definitely be rewarding and satisfying. Once I knew that I wanted to get into the industry, a friend had actually recommended me to Frank Salt, but once I started researching agencies, I looked for the biggest and most experienced agency, and I thought that Frank Salt was the one. So one of my favorite workmates at the Melahovis is someone that initially I didn't quite like as much simply because he was very upfront with me and told me some things that I didn't personally think he was in the position to do so. But at the same time, it's what makes him such a good consultant and most of all, such a good friend. And if you haven't guessed already, Claudio, I'm speaking about you. So putting the fact aside that getting my results doesn't really faze me simply because I would know how well I went depending on how hard I worked. On the other hand, closing a deal can definitely be intriguing and intimidating at times, especially when you've known that you've given it your absolute all and you're just, you just have to wait patiently for a response from a client. And closing a difficult deal can definitely get my heart pumping. This is definitely the most difficult question, 
but if I had to choose someone, I would say that the most important person would have to be my mother, simply because no matter what situation I put myself in, no matter how difficult, how hard or how disappointing, I think that she would always be ready to pull her socks up and help me fight the situation with me. But it's not even that, it's the fact that she would deeply believe that I would have all the capabilities within myself to pull myself out of the situation. And having that belief when you don't even believe in yourself is very rewarding and empowering to say the least. So this is actually a funny story because one of the biggest leads I closed was one where I had registered a 2100 per month property. I had just came back from abroad and I had posted an ad on it and uh, I had uh, forgot about checking the notifications because they were switched off and after a week or so I had went back, went to my messages and noticed that someone had messaged me a day after I had posted the ad. I called them right away and they told me that they were just about to sign a new deal and uh, I told them to squeeze me in before to have a property viewing just so they ha would have the chance and opportunity to choose between the two properties and uh, they loved it. They came back for a second viewing the day after and they decided to take it. So it's quite ironic how the biggest lead I closed was actually the one that took the least amount of work. So I think that this industry is definitely not for the light-hearted, but at the same time, if you're willing to be empathetic and put yourself in other people's shoes, whilst also learning really valuable skills you can, you can apply to your day-to-day -day life, I think you'll definitely be a good fit. I think that one of the biggest problems that the construction industry has today and that us humans made for ourselves is that during the urbanization process we literally locked ourselves out from nature and uh, built a wall of concrete around us, around our cities. So I think that bridging this gap back to nature is very important for our well-being and to connect ourselves back to nature. And one way I would tackle it would be to tackle another problem found here locally, which in my opinion is the common parts because it's safe to say that from the hundreds of properties I've visited personally, I think that the common parts are always an afterthought, simply because they don't bring, they specifically don't bring money to the developer. But it's so sad to see that after a long day of work, people that come home are, are faced with a long, dull staircase. So I think that one way of bridging that gap back to nature whilst also fixing this problem is to set a policy that states the minimum dimensions and make sure that all the common parts, especially of new buildings being built on new construction sites, would have ventilation and access to, to natural sunlight, whilst also having some sort of green space or internal yard fixed into it.